Hi guys and welcome back to Bespoke Airsoft. This is a new vlog today, we're just doing a bit of a product update. Um, we've had loads of things coming back into stock literally yesterday, which would have been Friday. Um, so I want to go a few new things that we've had in. Um, we've been asked for a while to stock uh, more magazines, so, so bigger capacity high cap magazines and such forth box magazines. So we've started getting those in, we've started ordering them in. So the first one I'll show you is an AK magazine, it's a thousand round flash magazine. Now these are very inexpensive for the amount of ammo that they hold. They are a polymer construction. You have a little window at the bottom here that you just flip down, pull the cord, fill it in the top like a normal magazine. Uh, just to show you a comparison, this is just like a, a Simer AK-47, uh, AK-24, sorry. Just pop that magazine out there, clips in, nice and easy. If you don't want to run around with a load of mid caps like a lot of us do, um, and you want to sort of thin down your kit, or you don't want to be carrying as many of these style high caps, carry one of these, shove it on your gun, you've got a thousand rounds there. If you need more than that, you could grab two, and you've only got to carry one magazine on your, on your rig or, or what have you. Uh, and that way you're carrying less gear on the game day. I mean, there's airsofters out there that will run predominantly mid caps, and then when they go to like a normal walk on day when there's a lot more players, they'll switch out to a high cap just for the day. So, whatever floats your boat. So, we've got these in stock now, they're on the website. So next we're moving on to the M4 platform, now this is the Ares Super High Cap, what they call the 900 round high cap magazine. Again, polymer construction, but it means it's very affordable and not expensive at all. You do have a windy wheel on the bottom as your usual high cap, and you fill it in the top as usual. Um, it's got a similar kind of aesthetic look to the Surefire big mags that the, uh, obviously the guys that shoot the real AR-15s will have. Um, so very good uh, little bit thing here, same as the AK magazine. You can fit in like a double M4 pouch, holding 900 rounds. It's about the same as two high cap mags, but you're only hold, hold, uh, holding the one mag. So that'll go in most M4 platforms. Perfect again for those that want to just run like a high cap day and don't want to carry around a load of mags. Um, and then when you go to your mill sim, you switch out to your back to your mid caps or other such sort of forward. So next we're moving on to the new Ares sniper rifle. Now this is the MSR-WR sniper rifle. There's a few striking resemblances here. Um, to the striker platform in regards to how the cylinder's been done and the receiver looks slightly similar the way it's been made. Um, but this is one of those guns that comes in its own little plastic carry case. It's very easy to take apart, literally all you do, unscrew the barrel, barrel comes off, um, stock folds in, bipod, com bipod comes off with just a push of a button and that just slides off the front. Um, very unique system in this is where when the, the gun's loaded, the hop unit, well when you pull the the bolt assembly back, the hop unit is actually spring loaded and can move back. So as the hop unit moves back, it aligns with the feed, feeds a round up. As you feed that round into the hop, you then have to push the hop forward again on that spring tension and then it can be fired. So nice little compact sniper rifle, doesn't take up much space at all. It's got a nice little Hogue style grip on here. Great for those that want to run like a real uh, Milsim or uh, role playing type of game because this is going to be perfect, it just packs in a case or you could literally take the barrel, I might as well do it now, um, you can literally unscrew the barrel and then that can be stored in the carry case, um, the bipod as well, just loosen that off, bipod comes off, stock gets folded in, tiny little magazine as well which is nice and easy to uh, Great for like the, anyone that's using normal sniper mag style pouch, it's not big at all, it's much smaller than the striker magazine. Um, but nice solid construction, is a lot, lot more expensive compared to a striker, but for the obvious reason with how uh, they've had to probably make this. Um, probably not a great platform for those of you out there that want to run a sniper as a, as a solid platform, um, skirmish or game after game. This is more of like a collector's piece or like I say a role playing milsim tile piece. Some of you may want to use this as your, your everyday sniping platform, it is nice and light, it's nice and small and compact, you haven't got a lot of handguard there, it, uh, it literally is just a bolt action in a small, small little package, so those on the website now, uh, and you can buy them straight away, ship them straight out. Moving on to sort of your more assault rifle style rifles, we've got the new APS Extremis rifles in. Now, I was delightfully surprised with these when I saw them at IWA, they're a little bit different to what they've done in the past. They're lovely and solid, there's no flex in the bodies whatsoever. They actually don't have a dust cover, but they do have a bolt style system that you can lock uh, for when setting your hop and other bits and pieces like that. Nice solid construction, high cap included in the box. 
they've got this unique kind of design, trades throughout, and then on the fire selector it says no pew, as in safe pew, which is semi-fire, uh, semi-auto, sorry, and then pew, 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 which is your full auto feature. Uh, nice of their own stock design here as well, they've made it really easy to push the tabs down and pull the stock off if you want to do the battery that way. However, there is a, a quick pin system at the back here, you can pull the back of the stock off and just fit a small LiPo if you want to. Nice front end with a flash hider, big iron sights which APS have put on the rifles before in the past anyway. Lovely little rifle, this is the Mark V. And then we also have the Mark VI as well which is, uh, is my favourite in the line. Nice and compact. Same system as the Mark uh, V, however you've got a short M-Lock uh, style handguard with a, a flash hide there. Nice low profile iron sights which you can have pistol sights where you flip them up for rifle sights. And then you've got this tubular stock system which a lot of manufacturers do at the moment, Classic Army, G&G, &G, uh, Ares have done it as well. Um, but the unique feature on this one which I like is when you get it out of the box or your bag and it's nice and compact, you literally push a button and the stock extends full so then you're ready to go and you're ready to use it. You can actually unscrew this stock piece here and put a cap on instead if you want to just so it's like a nice stubby stock. Uh, again battery space is really easy to access you just pop a little spring pin out here pop that open and you put your battery in the top. Loads of room there for a smallish style LiPo. Same uh, markings on the selector no pew pew and pew 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 which some of you may like but again these are on the website as well uh, both available, the Mark V and the Mark VI. The Mark VI seems to be selling out faster than the Mark V, but uh, plenty in stock, so uh, ready to be shipped out to you straight away. Now, this is a rifle that we've put together. It's not on the cheap scale whatsoever. I mean, the SRS, the Silverback SRS rifles are, are not a cheap rifle to begin with anyway. They normally start anywhere between 500 and 510. And then you can get the sport models which are about 400 and something. So uh, a while ago we were doing some custom SRSs and we got asked when we would be getting some more in or be doing some more. We actually worked with the guys at Redacted and we basically built these to their specification. Uh, we've got a Silverback SRS. We fitted the fast hop unit with a new hot rubber. Prometheus 420mm barrel which makes this perform absolutely superb, with, especially with heavy ammo. Uh, it comes with an M140 and an M160 depending on what you what sort of FPS you want to run it or what sort of weight you're using. I suggest if you're using 0.4s up to 0.45s or 0.48s, stick in with the M140 because there is a little bit of dual creep. Um, so with the M140 you're perfectly fine and safe to use on site. Um, you also get a 3, three to 5, 3.5 to 10 times 40 rifle scope which is illuminated. It's got the quick change tool, uh, the quick change post which I, which I love. There's nothing worse than having to unscrew a cap and like find a penny or a screwdriver or your key and, and dial it in. You can just literally quickly dial your adjustments in and you're right on target. You've got a spook suppressor here as well. And as you'll hear, it is very, very quiet. There's nothing to it. That's unloaded. As soon as you put some BBs in this, it's even quieter. You've got the SRS dual stage trigger on there. It also comes with two extra magazines, so you get three total. Uh, in the box so you're pretty much ready to go straight away all you got to do is chuck some ammo in here and then you can start engaging targets up to very long distances i mean the first test we've had with this setup um, with the redacted tune specification um straight, straight away we're hitting targets 90 whatever 100 meters away so perfect perfect rifle uh for the avid snipers out there however it's not the cheapest it comes in at 699.99 we can do them cheaper if you don't want the scope so if you're interested in that just get in touch with us and we can cater it to what you want. So next up we've got some pistols from Armour Works. Firstly starting with the new Compact 1911. Not only comes in black but it also comes in a chrome finish as well. The chrome one being slightly more expensive. Very nice uh, aesthetics on these. They've got a nice pointing on the slide and then they've got drilled out of barrels as well. They function and perform absolutely brilliantly. They're nice and smooth. Comes with a short style mag and a Hogue style grip on the pistol out of the box so it's nice and comfortable, nice and chunky in the hands. Same with the chrome one, it's exactly the same pistol just with a different finish uh, but for if you want a bit more bling you know maybe this one's for you so uh, both these are available on the website right now and we'll move on to the next one. So next we're moving on to their hex cut Glock style pistols. Now WE have been making Glock style pistols for a while they moved on to the custom ones where they did the little bits and pieces. Now Armour Works is an offshoot of WE so there's no surprises there. 
but you tend to find with the Armour Works the QC is a little bit more on point and they tend to have a little better aesthetic uh, appeal um, than the WE custom Glocks. Lovely hex cut design on the slides here and on the, the grip as well showing the mag off. We've got these in black with the silver slide, black with the black slide and then we've got tan with the silver slide and tan with the black side as well. Absolutely brilliant performing pistols, they'll go in all the same holsters but with an extra little bit of flair and out the box that is great, they've got the little magwell extensions on there so it, uh, it fits in with the pistol. Uh, all of those in stock on the website now as well but if you want a little bit more pimpage with your Armour Works Glock we are doing something which we call the V-Sync and all we've done, we've took the great Armour Works hex cut pistol which performs you know, superb out of the box for a, for a standard pistol and we've put the, the <laughs> I don't know what I want to say this. The Slong front grip extension, which can hold a magazine as well, um, and this is just basically the great, the same great pistol with a the front grip extension fitted at, uh, or included out of the box uh, with an extra mag, so you get two mags in the box with them as well. Um, and this is what we call the V-Sync. It's really easy to change magazine. So if you're in a game, take your magazine out, take your magazine out the front of the pistol, and you're ready to go. It's surprisingly um, satisfying to hold this thing, it, it performs and feels great. It's also really nice having a little bit of extra weight in the front so you can get your hands on. So if you're doing a lot of CQB games, I mean if you're local to us and you're going to places like Bravo One and the other uh, CQB sites around the Midlands or around the UK, wherever you're shooting, this is going to be a great little piece for you. If you want a nice Glock style, not, it's not a Glock, if you want a nice Glock style pistol uh, with some extra flair, two magazines out of the box and really nice and easy to change magazine with this. You can adjust this as well. You've got rail segments on the side for putting other accessories like torches, lasers, whatever you want to do. Um, these will also be going on the website today as well. Um, and we've got very limited of these because we had limited of the grips and obviously of course the magazine. Um, so these will be on the website but they'll be limited time only. So also in case you missed it, we're stocking Spectner arms again now. Now you can see some of them in the background here. We've got the M4s with the grenade launchers, we've got the sort of the M27 styles, salient styles uh, and many more on the way too. Great rifles for the money, really inexpensive compared to the other brands but still great performing out of the box. Um, we'll also move on to all the other bits we've had in stock. We've had a lot of airy striker bits in. As you can see on the right, uh, on the right, left, 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 you can see we've got all the strikers back in in all the colours: urban grey, flat dark earth, OD, and black. We've also got the carbon steel, carbon and stainless steel outer barrels. We've got the short outer barrels with the integrated flash hiders. We've got the long fluted outer barrels. We've got all the flash hiders back in stock. We've got all the charging handles that we could get hold of back in stock. We've got the pistol and cheek pad kits, we've got the tactical advanced buttstock kits. We have got pretty much most things, we've got suppressors, magazines, short magazines, anything you can think of uh, that we had available to us at the order, we've got back in stock. So check the website out for them, they're already on there. Uh, the cheek pad kits and the other bits of accessories like the flash eyes tend to go out pretty fast. So if you are looking at getting those bits and pieces, be sure to get over there straight away. Bespokeairsoft.co.uk and then just head to supplies, magazines or uh, parts sniper, uh, external accessories, it's all on there in the categories or if you get in uh, stuck just hit the search button at the top and just drop in a few keywords and it should bring up everything related. So thank you for joining me in this product update, we've got a lot more on the way as well, we're not stopping here. Big and exciting things here to come at Bespoke Airsoft, we're looking to expand uh, the store and everything else so be careful to watch on our YouTube for further updates and we'll see you in the next video.